What is up, everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Brutal Mario as we play To Be Continued. Which, uh, yeah, that probably means the demo's over. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, I'm really glad I came all the way back here to make another demo just to see that the hack was... Or make another video just to see that the, the hack was over. Alright, um... I guess now I just have to give my, uh, afterthoughts on this hack. And, um... Just talk about its, uh... It's good points, it's bad points, and all that stuff. Alright, the, um... Obviously, the good points were that, um... Let's see, that it... Well, first of all, the, the huge amount of custom stuff. I'm looking for a, a, a certain level here. Let's play what matches a key. Maybe we'll find some secrets in here and make, like, a whole new video out of this. But yeah, the, the, the hack was great, first and foremost. It was just incredible from a programming aspect because it had um, it had a huge amount of custom stuff which you don't find that too often you just don't I mean we we got like these Final Fantasy bosses in here and like Mega Man bosses and Donkey Kong bosses and like just crazy stuff that you don't really see a lot of in Mario games and um, you know I have the utmost respect for this guy for being able to hack that in you know, like, some of the bosses were a tad bit on the, uh, the questionable side. Get out of here, Chuck. But, you know, from a, from a programming standpoint, it was just incredible. Alright. So, you know, obviously, the, uh, the hack, that's what Brutal Mario is known for. It's, uh, known for being a hack with crazy custom stuff. And, like, the custom levels and, like, ah, oh, stupid. Custom levels and like custom sprites and stuff that he hacked in, like the little dark castle level that he put in. That's you know you don't find that stuff every day. So I'm not even sure how you would. Oh, you're stupid! I'm not even sure how you would program that in. Like I mean, I assume like it's not. Well, obviously it's not possible. I'm just. Ha! Huh. I kind of wondered about that after I played this level whether I could pick the keyhole up and take it back to the actual key. Kick. Okay. But yeah, like, from a programming standpoint, incredible. Like, custom bosses, and like, custom environments, and all this good stuff. Just unbelievable, man. Like, really. Hat, hat is off to you. Now, I knew this is what I was supposed to do here, but I was just too lazy to go back and, uh, actually find it out. Do I... Okay. I was gonna say, do I have to somehow enlarge the keyhole and shrink the key or whatever, but... Mario's item theft. Oh, this is like a little bonus area, huh? What's the point of this? Whatever. But, um... But, yeah. Custom stuff just out the freaking wazoo, man. It's just incredible, really. So you like that, like he made, he re the key as a keyhole and made you, or, you know, gave you the ability to pick it up. Like, where do you, where do you find this stuff, you know, other than this game? It's just incredible. Now, um, aside from the, well, there was, you know, like I said, custom bosses, custom environments, little cool things you hacked in, like, you push buttons to make a door appear, or things like that. Now, there were a couple of questionable things, like some of the bosses were a little on the questionable side, but that can be looked over. Let's play this. I think there's a secret here. Which I'm never gonna find. Maybe it's down here. Nope, that's death. Come back here, Yoshi. But, um, yeah, there were some points that were... Can you please stop taking my Yoshi away? I'm trying to break the level. Do you mind... I don't need to break the level, I'll just... Oh my god, I do need to break the level. I'm trying to give your hack a good rating and your enemies are, like, stopping me from talking. That's just irony at its finest. But, nevertheless, the, um... The hack didn't really have a storyline, like, at all. Is there anything over here? No. I just went all that way for nothing. There was a thing over there, which means there's probably a way to break that open. So let's go back and find out, since I, uh... Well, let's see here. 
I think this is probably gonna be a star. Let's see. Yep. Okay. But, you know, just a lot of really, really cool stuff. But the, the, there was no real storyline. Like, it didn't... Like, it didn't even have really an objective. It was just like you were showing off your custom stuff, which is great, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, you want to have at least, like, some indication or some dialogue as to what the player is doing. It, you don't want to make it just like, oh, you're you're running around aimlessly trying to, like, first it was like Mario wanted to eat dragons, so, like, he was going after Yoshi, and then, like, there was, like, Roy with his hair, like, his af his afro, and, like, we stole Ludwig's heart, and just things that don't make sense. But, you know, still, I'm not gonna fault you for that, because, okay, I think the secret is probably down here somewhere. Okay, there's the key! Oh, boy. No, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work for me. No, <laughs> the key! Okay. Yoshi! Help me. What in the... Okay, let's just... Let's just rewind. Let's just rewind this... And try to start anew. <sighs> let's just rewind that and try to start anew. Okay. But yeah, um, there was no real storyline as far as like what we were doing or really why it was just kind of like it was just kind of like you know you're running around and you know we we stole Ludwig's heart and all this stuff that you know oh my god okay thank you for not eating the key and just a bunch of stuff that didn't really make sense but you know that's well, the story, you know, I'll admit, the story is a big part of a game. So, you know, it, it's... It would have been nice if this had a story. Now, you know, I know it's just a demo, but... I mean, you know, when it's the last world, it's like, come on, man. Like, you know, you can... You could have just put in, you know, like, one more castle or something. Okay, I just screwed myself over here, I think. Okay, let's... Alright, this should... Oh, boy. Oh my god, I had it! Okay. Somehow I think that Yoshi is impeding my progress here because I can't run because he'll spit out the key. So you know what? Bye, Yoshi! Alright, come on. Alright, that works. Okay, I think the, uh... Dang it, without Yoshi I still fail. Okay. But, yeah. No storyline or anything. So, what the crap? I guess that's to get out of there if you didn't have the key. I'm just going to assume that. If it's a secret within a secret, then I'm just confused and enraged and will not continue. Alright, that was just a shortcut, but, you know, whatever. But yeah, so, the only flaw, really, with this whole game was there was no real storyline. Like, it was just kind of, you know, let's just run around and do custom stuff. Which, that's great. Like, as for a rating... This hack, it easily gets a, uh, it easily gets, I'll give it, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. And that's just for the ridiculously, like, the ridiculous amount of cool custom stuff. Like, it could have easily been a 10 out of 10, had there been a storyline, or had there been, you know, anything like that. I think what needs to happen is the person who programmed this... Needs to team up with the person who programmed the Essence Star and the person who programmed Seven Golden Statues. It wouldn't surprise me if it was the same programmer for, like, you know, two or all those hacks because all of them were just so incredible. But the person who, like, we, what we need is we need a hack that has the custom bosses and the custom environments of this game mixed with the custom moves and custom items of Seven Golden Statues and the storyline of Essence Star. That would be a hack for the ages. That would be, like, God player hack. So yeah, let's make that happen, if at all possible. Just a, uh, a humble request from a huge fan of you guys, if you ever hear this. Okay. I apparently missed the place to turn the switch off in here, which I kind of want to find now, just because... 
Okay. I'm sure it's like... Like, not even hard to find, but I'm just missing it. Wait a minute. Is there a... Okay, wait. Okay, I want to see if I can... No, I... can I not jump on this? Okay. Okay. I'm just looking for any place now that might seem suspicious. Okay. This is... I'm confused on how to get to ye old secret here. But I'm gonna find it, or I'm gonna try my best. That little, like... Did we go with this before? Was this to a, a Yoshi coin? Yeah, that just led to a coin. Well... There's obviously a switch I need to turn off to get to that secret there. I have no idea where said switch could be, though. Yeah, see, there's the switch. So, yeah, I just totally botched that bonus game, but I don't care. So let's try this one more time. It could very well be in, like, another level or something, like we've seen that done before. But, uh, yeah, so... Hack, what did I say, 8.5 out of 10? So, yeah, that ties it with the Essence Star. I still didn't think this surpassed 7 Golden Statues, because to me, 7 Golden Statues seem more like a Mario game. And it had, you know, a lot of coherence, and it flowed. This was great, don't get me wrong, but... If you could find a way to take, like, all this custom stuff and just make it flow, and just, like, make it, uh, make the continuity a little bit better and give it some storyline, then we would have, you know, a 10 out of 10 hack easily. And like I said before, you know, we need guy who programmed, um, Essence Star, guy who programmed Seven Golden Statues, and this programmer to, you know, you guys get together and make, uh, make the greatest Mario hack of all time. Because, of course, it would be just a god player hack. How am I... Wait a minute. How would one get down to there? There's something fishy going on here. And I don't like it one bit. What the crap? Okay, this is probably like a really easy to find secret and I'm just screwing it up. Let's see. There's, is there a... I keep thinking, like, maybe there's a little section of track below. Okay, there's the secret, but you know what? Who really gives a crap? I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. So, great hack. Brutal Mario, legendary hack, great for custom stuff. 8.5 out of 10, easily. Even without a storyline, and even without being finished. Would recommend to anyone. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna go find another hack to do. So, when we come back, we'll move on to the next hack. Thanks for watching. See you next time.